AI has really turned the world around. Whatever we see now was considered impossible 10 years ago. Today, we are going to discuss what exactly are these new AI features, how they function, why they are important for social interaction in the future, and information on Meta AI and Video GPT. A number of new AI features and experiences have just been unveiled by Meta across all of its platforms, including WhatsApp Messenger, Instagram, and more. These features are driven by some of the most cutting-edge AI technologies available. They are also made to enhance the enjoyment, creativity, and immersion of your online interactions. Meta Platforms Inc. owns the artificial intelligence research facility known as Meta AI. Meta AI aims to advance augmented and virtual reality technology while creating diverse types of artificial intelligence. The goal of the academic research facility Meta AI is to produce knowledge for the AI community. In contrast, Facebook's Applied Machine Learning AML team focuses on using its technologies in real-world situations. With offices in its Menlo Park, California, headquarters, London, the United Kingdom, and a brand new lab in Manhattan, Meta AI was first known as Facebook Artificial Intelligence Research, FAIR. In September 2013, FAIR was formally introduced. Jan LeCun, a deep learning professor and Turing Award laureate at New York University, was the director of FAIR. FAIR's initial mission was to conduct data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence research in collaboration with NYU's Center for Data Science with the aim of understanding intelligence, discovering its fundamental principles, and making machines significantly more intelligent. The Meta AI team spoke about the significant developments in artificial intelligence research and development during the live event inside the lab. Building for the Metaverse with AI on February 23, 2022. One such technology is the BuilderBot, which enables users to create virtual environments via voice commands. Other tools include a universal speech translator and the No Language Left Behind technology, which can automatically translate between written languages. The goal of Meta AI's computer vision research is to glean environmental data from digital photos and movies. Panoptic segmentation, a type of computer vision technique created by AI, recognizes foreground items while simultaneously categorizing situations in the backdrop. In order to overcome language variances in the queries, Meta AI aims to improve visual question answering technology in which a computer uses cycle consistency to answer questions from human users about images. For artificial intelligence to communicate, a machine must be able to comprehend natural language and produce natural language. Regardless of the user's language proficiency, Meta AI aims to advance these technologies to better secure communication. Thus, extending natural language processing, NLP technology to additional languages, is a key task. Meta AI is actively engaged in unsupervised machine translation as a result. By infusing personality into image captioning, producing creativity-based language, and enhancing characteristics of casual conversational discourse including repetition, specificity, response relatedness, and question asking, Meta AI aims to improve natural language interfaces. Pytext, a modeling framework aimed towards NLP systems, was released as open source by Meta AI in 2018. A 65B parameter large language model called Elama, large language model Meta AI, was introduced and made publicly available by Meta AI in 2023. For news feeds, advertisements, and search results, Facebook and Instagram leverage Meta AI research to rank and promote content. Reagent a collection of tools from Meta AI that creates judgments and assesses user input, has also been released. The creation of cutting-edge software, hardware, and algorithmic techniques is essential to machine learning and artificial intelligence. The systems research groups of Meta AI therefore focus on hardware applications, compilers, and programming languages. Research on Meta AI focuses on the theoretical and mathematical underpinnings of AI. Learning theory, optimization, and signal processing are all fields where Meta AI has published. After the introduction of ChatGPT on November 30, 2022, the mantra of the current stage of technological revolution will be, adopt the insane, 
or descend into insanity. The previous stage's mantra was, disrupt or be disrupted. Even before you realize it, you'll lose relevance. The direction humanity takes in the future will be determined by where the planet is at this crossroads right now. Text-to-image has already reached a certain degree of maturity, and text-to-video is also headed in that direction. It is only a matter of time before it is useful and commercially viable. The entire business is shocked by the new AI video GPT. This AI baby is making waves after a week of multiple releases. Nobody would have believed this, not even in a science fiction film, if it weren't for the current AI insane age. You can communicate with video using the technology known as Video GPT. Let's just say that, like in the other case of this genre, an AI agent would be able to assist you in doing so. The first demos have been made available. This demo, which OpenGV Lab released, demonstrates the accomplishments it has made in such a short period of time. What is intriguing about these tools is that a lot has been developed both after ChatGPT was released and GPT-4 started to be used. A theoretically straightforward framework called VideoGPT is used to scale likelihood-based generative modeling to real-world movies. VideoGPT makes use of VQVAE, which uses 3D convolutions and axial self-attention to learn down sampled discrete latent representations of a raw video. The discrete latents are the autoregressive modeled using spatio-temporal position encodings in a straightforward GPT-like architecture. On the Bayer Robot dataset, the architecture is able to produce samples that are competitive with state-of-the-art GAN models for video creation, and it can produce high-fidelity natural images from the UCF 101 and Tumblr GIF dataset, TGIF datasets, despite its straightforward formulation and ease of training. The MTIA V1 was created especially for Meta's recommendation workloads and is the company's first-generation AI training and inference accelerator. It was created utilizing the 7 nanometers manufacturing technology from TSMC, and it has an 800 megahertz operating frequency. The accelerator maintains a thermal design power, TDP, of 25W, while offering 102.4 tops at INT8, accuracy and 51.2 TFLOPs at FP16 precision in terms of processing power. The accelerator is built around a grid of 64 processing elements, PEs, grouped in an 8x8 arrangement and is equipped with on-chip and off-chip memory resources, as well as the appropriate interconnects. Each PE has two processor cores, one of which has a vector extension, as well as a number of fixed function units designed for operations such as matrix multiplication, accumulation, data transportation, and nonlinear function calculation. The processor cores heavily customize the RISCV Open Instruction Set Architecture, ISA, to carry out the necessary compute and control functions. The memory subsystem for the accelerator can expand up to 128 GB and employs LPDDR5 for off-chip DRAM resources. It also has 128 MB of on-chip SRAM, which is shared by all of the PEs and allows for quicker access to frequently used data and instructions. With thread and data level parallelism, TLP and DLP, instruction and memory level parallelism, ILP, and memory level parallelism, MLP, the design promotes parallelism and data reuse. MTIA accelerators are installed on slim twin M2 boards, making server integration simpler. The boards use as little as 35W of power and contain PCIe Gen 4 X8 connectors that connect them to the host CPU. The Yosemite Vi 3 server specification from the Open Compute project is used by the servers hosting these accelerators. A hierarchy of PCIe switches connects the 12 accelerators that are housed within each server, enabling tasks to be dispersed among the accelerators and run concurrently. All these things seem crazy, right? We can't predict AI, it improves day by day. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below.